What is it in the world today that is making authoritarian and populist forms of government more attractive than democracy? This was the core question that we explored at our Global Humanities Institute on the crisis of democracy. The Global Humanities Institute had a varied format. We began with a fantastic introductory lecture by Mirla Mukherjee uh, on the evolution of democracy in the modern world. We had a series of wonderfully rich and provocative uh, uh, panel discussions where we defined terms. What does crisis mean? What do we mean by trauma? What does democracy mean? We looked at the role of leader cults and trauma narratives. We discussed religious polarization, terrorism and genocide, strategies of popular resistance to political violence. We were situated in the Balkans, we travelled to Bosnia and Herzegovina. For many of us, this was the highlight. Beginning in the multicultural town of Mostar, the group visited the Partisan Memorial Cemetery and the iconic Old Bridge, Stari Most, which was rebuilt in 2004, following its destruction in 1993 during the war. We visited the Srebrenica Potokari Memorial and Cemetery for the victims of the 1995 genocide. The visit to the Memorial Centre and Cemetery immersed the researchers in a region attempting to recover from deep division and trauma. The field trip to Bosnia acted as a common case study for the international group of researchers. While it was one of the most challenging parts of the Global Humanities Institute, it was also one of the most rewarding. That something like this kind of shocks you into uh, immediate and greater engagement with that wide world especially over the course of the two years, not just this uh, nine days together, but over the course of the two years, so that what it means for a group of people who, are, who think about things from different perspectives to go to Belfast and think about the Troubles and then to go to Srebrenica and think about the Yugoslav Wars, and it's just been so enriching. Renewed uh, faith and in interdisciplinarity because there is so much talk around it, but actually one really starts to believe that it can work when we share the space and time and expertise together. Well, I think the links we make here, the connections, both like theoretical, conceptual connections and personal connections and research connections will flourish in the coming years.